Okay, thank you. Okay, good evening. Uh, so today we will see uh, another. So generally, uh, as of now, we have seen writing HTML tags in the written statement itself and uh, applying uh, style sheets or styles to the what other text to be applied. But uh, today we will actually see uh, from front to back. So generally. So this is the website uh, we will be building. Uh, so using a website template. Uh, so this template we can uh, directly get it from HTML. Uh, 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 HTML five up dot com. So where we have different different templates. So so if we go here, so dot web. So generally uh, these are templates where it will provide all the uh, resources like HTML, CSS, JavaScript. So we don't need to write anything. So we we will be building a website depending on this uh, template. So how we will be building? So for example, if you see here, uh, it's my name, my photo, and the background is uh, we have changed it, and uh, we have linked my uh, LinkedIn profile, Instagram profile, and Facebook profile. So if I just click on it, it will automatically direct to uh, my LinkedIn profile. So similarly, just so this is uh, just like an card website. So there you, you have just. Uh, before we used to have visiting cards, so now it's uh, like a digital uh, uh, visiting card. Uh, we can create our own. Source. So as of now, this is uh, running on my local. Uh, so everything is catch right now. So let's uh, go to what exactly we are going to do. So uh, before uh, uh, we will take. Um, Example. Uh, let's see server.py. So here uh, there is nothing uh, we have uh, changed. Uh, so this is the random uh, number what we have uh, implemented uh, maybe last uh, in last class where we have uh, like uh, got uh, 0 to 9 one of the random number picked up and then we have uh, like we define the index where the uh, root and what are the guess we have depending on the guess we converted it. So we are returning. So if you see here, we are returning HTML uh, tags, image source. So here. So what if we no don't want to return something like this? We want directly a render a directly HTML uh, template so that the Python file it automatically render all the HTML files or whatever the CS, uh, CSS files instead of writing uh, huge thing. So it automatically render. So there is. Uh, one thing called render template function. So generally, how this will works is we have to create a templates folder. Example, uh, let me just so here I have created a name called. Uh, so here we have to create a templates. So here we should have the HTML in the templates and. Uh, uh, example. So, for example, the Python script is very uh, simple. It's like it's, as of now, it's like the message. Uh, what are we are uh, defining the message? It actually render the HTML. So here, the main thing what we need to observe is the render template. Instead of we are uh, importing Flask, we are using the render template method also. Importing from Flask, we are importing that method. So we will see uh, this in the next uh, class. So this is like uh, passing the uh, HTML, like uh, passing the variables yeah. using the ginger template. So generally, if we just comment this out and just take this, and if you see the HTML tag, and directly if we give here for the message like hello flag, something like that, it will actually automatically render, and we will get the uh, the app. 
so here uh, there is no difference so generally even in uh, whatever now we will be writing uh, the name card website also there is the python code is very simple because flask automatically uh, render everything the code is inside the render template method so uh, the framework a uh, flask framework provide us flexibility uh, to uh, render all the HTML files including the uh, static files so static files are nothing but again the CSS files or the JavaScript files or the images what we generally load so even in the files if you want to uh, convert it into an uh, URL kind of stuff so this is uh, one thing again we will see this in later classes so just for uh, for today this is the physical card uh, generally uh, so we will be creating a digital version of it so, so how we will be doing is we have already uh, HTML for identity a uh, dot identity so this uh, zip file we will be providing so whenever uh, we uh, this directly we can actually download it from here also as of now identity is not there uh, but uh, you can uh, try with any of the uh, template uh, whatever you like for example uh, so if you see the live demo So uh, here when we click the download, uh, so it automatically give us all the templates like what are the website templates depending on our uh, thing. For example, let's take this. So generally, all these images are uh, whenever we download, they won't uh, provide the images, but it's like a gradient images they will provide. So, so it is automatically downloading. So I'm just taking this into my and then uh, just Now I am unzipping them. Uh, so if you see here, they have given a different different HTMLs. Uh, so one is like image uh, generic H elements HTML uh, index dot HTML. So now uh, our main uh, goal is uh, so just I'm copy pasting this the same thing into demo template so because uh, so the server.py the code won't change because only the index HTMLs will be changing so now I, I need to create templates folder and then static so uh, why we are uh, creating because these two the, these names because flask is a framework again we have uh, seen 
so uh, if you see the official uh, documentation of this so we need to compulsory create for example if you see static so here we have to create a templates folder because the flask will look for the template inside the templates folder and for all other uh, things it will look for uh, in the static thing so now because massively now I, I will just give all this because all these are HTML templates I am just copy pasting in this there and so now again I am coming back now I am copy pasting both inside the static both assets are name if you see assets it's JavaScript, web fonts, SAS, uh, CSS. So images are nothing but again, uh, these are, uh, if you see here, these all are gradient images. Now, for example, if you go back uh, to the this thing, so generally when we uh, create, we don't get uh, this uh, image because uh, in CSS they are actually only, they are providing only gradients, all these images. so first of all I am what I will be doing I am just opening this file again so just uh, I am considering index.html and let me just run this it is running now uh, I am force reloading so generally what happens if we reload also uh, if, uh, the catching happens generally in uh, maximum of the servers the catching happens uh, so to force reload we have to hold the shift uh, in the uh, keyboard and then we have to refresh it then uh, it uh, loads uh, everything so if you see here uh, we are not applying uh, it hasn't applied anything like uh, the CSS it hasn't applied everything is like just as uh, 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 normal HTML uh, where we have under layers and everything so but uh, what are we are seen because what happened if I just go to my demo template and if I open the index.html because we are just checking this only so I am just editing with HTML so here uh, whatever the CSS uh, is there uh, the correct uh, I meant to say we we have to give the correct uh, path so because these sets are inside the static so what we will do We will change something like this. First, since you have to add data, so have to replace everything in this way. So now, you see the static inside the static folder, our uh, CSS files are there. So similarly, inside the images also. So you can see there if there is an image. Yes, so for example, if you see it's a big tower here, a PNG. So similarly, we have to change. So now it's a stack of images. Now I am saving it. So because we have our kept uh, debug equal to true, we don't need to 
again uh, stop the server and run the server so just we need to force reload using shift shift key and then refreshing it now if if you see here So as I said, these all are gradients. So the images have come. We have to request our images uh, if we have it handy. So they have provided only gradients. So if I just go to images, we check. So here there is no actual image. What we are uh, seeing on this time. So it is depending on uh, our uh, provide. So now, uh, if I want this ba uh, background image to change, so now I'm going to static images and just checking if there is background. So this is one of the website where um, we can get uh, nice background images. So, for example, uh, It's not a uh, perfect fit, I think it should be landscape. Okay, let me take this. Here uh, I got a uh, JPEG image, so I just cut uh, it and then uh, I'm going to the folder demo template static images. Just copy pasting this. So, here uh, because background image uh, the gradient will be uh, rendered multiple uh, times, so it's not a single image uh, where. So what I'm doing, just I'm renaming this page of Why I have did this? Because if I just go to CSS and just see the main, main CSS, So if you see here, uh, it's uh, actually there's a gradient, uh, and linear gradients, and then uh, they are loading uh, on the background dot effect. So now if I just uh, come to either we need to change here or just I change it um, image file so. Instead of changing the CSS, it's better to change only the image uh, name. So now uh, I should, so when I just refresh it again, it's using shift. Now 
if you see uh, the background has changed even the static images so if you want to change uh, the images where uh, here image something like that we can just change here itself so either you can change uh, what are the image here or we can change uh, the image name um, uh, by copy pasting your uh, desired image here and just change it to okay, uh, this pick zero one touch to main card. So here I have right here. So I want to load this image. Now I just want just to copy this. I go back and again just uh, I have changed this file so now if I just uh, sh holding shift and again refresh it So it is uh, everything is using from uh, directly from the render method, uh, render template method. So here we haven't changed anything. We just uh, are renaming it, uh, and we are just uh, providing all the images or uh, on the gradient whatever they have defined. So we are not writing any HTML here or CSS here or JavaScript here, but we need to link uh, all the uh, into one page. So here, if we go to go to a generic page, it is not found because we haven't uh, uh, rooted that to generic.html. So uh, this we need to again write the render template method, and uh, we have to app dot root. So for example, if I just uh, go back here. Because it's uh, saying technical.html, I am also giving it the same HTML. I am saving it and again because it's already we have changed it already reloaded so I'm just uh, refreshing it again now again this is uh, the same happened so again we need to change the generic.html
कंट्रोल हेच एसेट्स टैग कैसेट्स Again, save. No, again, I'm uh, holding shift and doing the refresh. Yeah. So now. everything is working fine perfectly fine so again uh, when we go to this page again this will uh, because we haven't defined it here because we haven't rendered the template so the same thing happens now uh, for uh, our uh, today project what happens is so it's uh, something like the same thing identity template so yeah we we will be providing that identity template when uh, so pycharm project or any project so create one project like name card and then create uh, all the steps necessary like a template static and the thing so the same thing we, what we have did so just i am showing you again so i'm just uh, stopping this server now if i go to this so before that this is the html identity so the same thing it has only one html page the root html page and the images is uh, they have given only two images ba uh, background image and uh, author.jpg so and assets is same thing uh, the same uh, css uh, yes fonts so what we did we actually uh, Create a name dot server dot pv server dot pv is again the same. So if you see, yeah, yeah this one name called server dot pv. So the uh, by default it is root and it is uh, rendering the index dot html template. I'm just closing this. So here again. Uh, what i did uh, i have ref um, the same thing it will be like uh, assets uh, css dot main so we have to replace it with static because all the our static files are under static folder so in the html uh, we have to replace that with uh, the same thing static assets and the static images so here actually i have replaced with side dot jpeg so in So if I go to static and images, so there will be two images. Now what I did, I have actually replaced uh, this. Uh, there will be avatar dot jpeg. Just I replaced because there is only one HTML element here, uh, side dot jpeg. So just I have replaced it with uh, avatar dot jpeg with side dot jpeg in HTML itself. Otherwise, uh, you can just uh, instead of that, we can directly. I rename the image to avatar dot jpeg only, whatever the image we want. And the background is this. So here, if you see, this is everything is commented out. If you require, you can just uh, try to uh, do some uh, uh, trial and error. So, so, so here uh, I have changed the name, uh, my name, and now uh, the role. So here I have kept all the hrefs. So generally it will be uh, by default hash will be there. So we ha we have to keep all the links uh, whatever it provided. So generally uh, this icons right uh, this is by default uh, the icons uh, we already seen uh, five icons. So here uh, it will be a Twitter. I have changed it to LinkedIn. So if by default if you just open uh, HTML identity, and if you just check the next dot HTML, so it will be something like a general senior psychonautics engineer. 
so here by default it will be hash 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 and it will be Twitter I have changed it to favcon to uh, LinkedIn and just given LinkedIn and here the identity by HTML up this is the title uh, so generally uh, we have changed it to just uh, my name Saikisho name card and uh, last at last just I have kept uh, the copyright so the attribution we need to give because we are not using any uh, uh, like a free resource only we are not using any commercial uh, website so that's why we are giving the attribution so we are not changing the design this attribution so these are the changes what we have did so now when we uh, run the server so this will now render this HTML uh, template so I'm going here I'm just refreshing with shift again So because if you see again uh, this is actually the CSS so is not updated so we have to refresh it with shift again so because of catching so, uh, by default the catching mechanism uh, will be there uh, so generally the whatever we uh, if, uh, this happens every time so uh, the browser mechanism what it does it uh, catches the CSS files uh, generally and it stores it in local uh, memory so if you want to refresh it uh, forcefully we have to hold shift and again refresh it so it loads all the CSS files because the first what we see is the old CSS file uh, catching uh, mechanism so it applied to the uh, this uh, website also now uh, if you see this, then the name card is done so this is again I downloaded it from uh, up slash only so I have Placed with with the uh, BG, so the same like what I did, the BG backup and BG dot uh, JPEG. So now I have provided all the links, so it will again uh, go to my profile. So here if you see this is the title what I am saying so I guess your name card is the title of the website so generally so again so these are all the five, five cons and here the copyright uh, logo and the, the design attribution is HTML5 uh, so whenever uh, if you want we can actually uh, uh, going forward we can actually uh, make this uh, a name card website in uh, some uh, github repository and we can actually run uh, uh, the site are using some python anywhere uh, kind of stuff like cloud deployment uh, we can do it and we can actually share with uh, what are the website uh, like our domain name. we can take one domain name service and we can uh, create uh, one thing and we can actually provide so this is just a name card so generally we can uh, create a multiple uh, website for example uh, wedding invitations so generally uh, uh, we can create uh, using uh, this kind of uh, stuff and uh, yeah we can provide to clients also like once we have the idea Uh, that's it for today so we have learned about uh, template rendering and we have uh, developed a website using HTML uh, template from HTML5 up so the Python code is very limited because uh, it's already written uh, in the fr flash framework so we are rendering whatever already written and using all that uh, in our code so that the flash framework is very easy to build websites so yeah
we can build a very nice website using flash framework uh, if we have all the knowledge okay, okay then yeah thank you